Hey, my beautiful friends. Man, it's been a long time since I posted a video on this channel. I, I'm in this awesome place. I want to show it to you and then I'll sort of give you a life update. But let's pop outside here real quick. Show you where I'm at. There's some construction down there, so you might hear a little bit of that in the background, but. Really cool storage container that I found on Airbnb. And I mean, super, super minimalist, awesome space. Uh, I mean, it's, I love this kind of stuff. You know, I used to make a lot of videos on minimalism and a lot of uh, tour videos because we were traveling a lot more and had a lot more opportunities to, to share this kind of stuff all over the world. This one's in Austin, Texas. So it was a big storage container that this guy bought and then renovated. And it's just sitting kind of on the side of his main house property. Um, I'll just give you a quick tour. I mean, there's not a whole lot to tour here, but this thing behind me is the bed. So you take off these covers here and then you pull down this bed and it kind of comes out to, I don't know. Yeah, about here probably. So it's actually a pretty big bed. It definitely two people could sleep in there, no problem. It's got like a little storage down here, TV. A little more storage over here, like writing desk or something. No, no chair, which is fine for me. Actually, this is a really nice standing desk. I've been, I've been util using, utilizing. And uh, also you have a little deck outside and that's really nice. I'll show you the bathroom real quick because that's a cool feature. This is actually pretty similar to a lot of bathrooms you find in other places in the world where it's kind of like a wet bath. So you have your, your toilet down here, which functions in the wall. I'll show you like, sits right here. And then your drain over here and your shower. So you can kind of like sit on the toilet, have the shower on, be in the shower while using the toilet. This is like my favorite thing to do. Simple, you know, little sink setup, nice little stove, nice little coffee maker. Pretty fancy little place for 75 bucks a night. I'm gonna put this on a tripod so it's not moving as much. Yeah, there we go. Let me close the door too. So here I am, I'm still in Austin, Texas, and you might be wondering what I'm doing here. And I think that would be a good place to start with my life update, which is what this video is sort of all about. I have no idea when the last video I made was on this channel. I have no idea who you are that is watching and, uh, you know, I appreciate you being here, being in my life, caring about my life, and um, having the opportunity to sort of share a candid update. So I imagine if you have interest in my life, you've probably been watching my more active channel with Brittany, of which we have two. We have Connor and Brittany, where we talk about relationships and sexuality, sex education, that sort of thing. And then we also have Connor and Brittany Family and Lifestyle, which is a bit newer, uh, but we created that when we were deciding that we wanted to have our child, Ilya, and uh, kind of document that process. So that's Connor and Brittany, family and lifestyle, where we talk about family and lifestyle. So if you've been watching either of those, you know that I still have a beautiful partnership with Brittany, and Brittany has a beautiful partnership with Bridget. And I have my own sort of relationship with Bridget, but she's not my partner in the romantic sense. And we all live together. So there's three adults in one house with our baby who just turned six months, Ilya Gray Fox. And it's been, it's been an incredible ride. I mean, I could not go through all the details of things that have unfolded uh, in any sort of condensed in any sort of watchable form it would be impossible to share the whole process of things that have unfolded but i did want to share some recent things that have opened up for me personally 
because everything I've been doing for many, many years now, since the separation that I had with my ex-wife, who I was with for 12 years, like almost seven years ago now when we separated, since then doing a lot of different variations of self-work, which have all led to this moment in time where I can express to you that, <laughs> I don't even know how to express it. I'm a really, I'm a very changed human. Um, the, you know, I've been like working on a lot of little pieces. We can't really know what we're gonna work on until they present to us. You know, we're not gonna be like, oh, I really wanna work on um, uh, fear of going up to someone in the street and telling them I think they're attractive without knowing that we have that fear. And so similarly, you know, since the separation almost seven years ago, different things have come to me and have presented themselves. And I've seen like, okay, that's an area I want to work on. And recently with the relationship changes with Brittany and Brittany's love that she's been creating with Bridget and my relationship with Bridget, so many things have come to me that have said, I need attention. And I have said, wow, I want to give you attention. There's a lot of you right now. Uh, let me figure out which ones are most important and I'll get to you eventually. And so, yeah, it's just been like, it's been like that for probably over a year. <sighs> and recently, I think everything has led to this point where I have been able to release in a way that I've, I, I never knew was possible for human beings to do. So that's probably the biggest life update I can share with you, but I do wanna share some other details of things that I feel excited about or proud of. And um, I will get to that. I wanna kind of wrap this up first because it's probably a bit ambiguous. You don't really know exactly what I'm talking about. My relationship with Brittany, I just love. It's so fulfilling, so satisfying, so life-giving. And for a long time, I've really seen us as Connor and Brittany, Connor and Brittany, Connor and Brittany, Connor and Brittany. And that has certain attachments to me. And it means certain things to parts of me that have come into conflict in what I have been witnessing her um, in her relationship with Bridget. And, uh, and also my relationship with Bridget and how I can have this idea of Connor and Brittany while there's this other person there. Yeah, it's been like, Again, something I didn't know that I wanted to work on and something I didn't know was going to bring up so much for me until it happened. And I've got to say, it's been one of the most challenging things I have been through on this earth so far. And it's also been just the most incredible growth I have ever done. And I feel so freaking proud of myself for figuring out the path because for a while I only knew that I, I felt pain and I felt fear and I felt worthlessness come up and rejection come up and a lot of different things that I'm sure you've felt in your own way at many different times as we all have we walk through this this earth and we feel pain and through that process, you know, I feel like pain is a, is a really beautiful gateway. It doesn't have to be the only gateway, but sometimes it's the most powerful one. And when we're in a certain place of pain and we're conscious of it and we really are saying like, yes, I'm in pain and that's okay. I want to be here with it. I want to I wanna squeeze, you know, the last drops of power from this painful experience and use it to replenish myself to grow. When we choose that, I think this door opens up. It's like this portal that's kind of only available when we're in that sort of like, I'm in pain place. And I see it as this door, this door that opens up and we have 
two choices. We can close the door or we can walk through the door. And if we close the door, I think basically all we're saying is not yet. I'm not ready yet. I don't want to do that yet. And the next time we're in pain, that door is going to open up again and you're going to have the same choice. You want to do it now or you want to do it later? <laughs> and, uh, and for me, it was like that for a long time. And a lot of that has to do with resistance. Just like, no, I, I don't, I don't see the door. I don't want to see the door. I don't know what you're talking about because it's painful. It's really hard because what for, for me, this door is a metaphor for is like letting go of some really deep attachments and some really deep stories that validate who I am. And if I let go of that, what happens to me? And what happens to me in the context of Brittany? What happens to me in the context of the world? And we sort of can't know. We just say like, I don't want to be faced with this question anymore. I just wanna go through the door and see what happens. And something happened for me a couple of weeks ago where the culmination of the, the last nearly seven years of work took me to this place where I was in pain and the door was there. And I said, now's the time. And I walked through the door. And what that actually looked like was me laying in bed, feeling pain, sourcing out like, where is this pain coming from? What is it? What's happening for me here? and noticing that there were stories attached to the pain. The main story being, what if it's not Connor and Brittany? What if? And to walk through the door meant following that all the way through, to allow that process to happen so that integration could happen. And what was happening before is I, that would come up for me. It was like, what if it wasn't Connor and Brittany? And I would resist it. I'd say, like, no, 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 but it is, it is. And here's why. And I'd give myself a lot of data as to why. And I'd back it up and I'd re-secure myself in what felt comfortable. And what I chose to do this time was lay in bed and close my eyes and ask myself that question and then follow it all the way through. And it hurt, and it hurt, and it hurt, and it hurt, and it hurt. And then I got to a place where it was like, I am still going to be loved. No matter what. And then another story would come up. Something kind of like that. What if Brittany doesn't want to spend as much time with me? What if she wants to spend that with Bridget? What if she falls out of love with me? What if she's more in love with Bridget than she is with me? What if, what if? And I could feel the resistance and I could feel the pain and I just said like, let it flow, follow it all the way through, follow it, let it go, let it go, feel the emotion. And it was like a physical experience, obviously an emotional experience. There were a lot of thoughts happening and I just kept breathing. I had my eyes closed. I was laying down in bed. I was by myself. It was dark and I hurt and I hurt and I hurt and I hurt until I got to a place where it was okay. And in that place, it was like this choice to love myself and to reassure myself and to really find truth, not just like say it, but to really find it in my body in this incredibly integrative way where it was like, it is true that not only am I going to be loved, I'm going to be loved even more than I have known. I'm going to not only have a good life, I'm going to have an even better life. I'm not only going to be secure and safe and myself, I'm going to have even more of that. And the best is yet to come. And it's amazing. You know, it's in a way, it's very simple to talk about when we put these 
incredible moments of our lives into words, it can kind of like diminish what it actually feels like. But it needs to be talked about. It's got to be. I have to put voice to this experience in some way and I have to share it because it feels so pivotal, like a gigantic thing that happened to me. And I, and I just have to share it with the universe. I have to share it with you. And the outcome of that, I've just had the best couple of weeks of my life. I mean, I feel so, I feel so free and so autonomous and yet so connected. And I feel like the Connor and Brittany idea that I once had has, has sort of evaporated. And now I really feel like I can be Connor and I can be with Brittany and I can have this love and this exchange of love that is so pure. That's really like, this is the experience happening right this moment without some idea of what it's supposed to look like. And without some idea that it's not good enough or, oh yeah, but you love someone else too. So it's not as meaningful or, well, I'm feeling a little worthless. And so like, can you please love me like more and more and more? All these things that we as human beings, we just do, we just do them because we're trying to take care of ourselves. And somehow I got to this place where like, it's, it's completely different for me. And so now that it's been like a little bit of time, I, I'm just spending not all day, but kind of like all day, consciously reminding myself, everything's okay. Everything's more than okay. I'm so loved. I'm so perfect. I'm going to have more love. I am loved. And the truth is that like my relationship with Brittany has never, ever been better. It is off the charts. Like we are so in love. I, mean, I don't want to speak for her, but she did just tell me this. So I think it's okay. <laughs> and yeah, and I feel it. I feel so loved f by her and I feel so much love for her. <sighs> and to release that, I have been able to open up even more to Bridget and to love her and to love everything, just to love my life and to appreciate it so much more and to feel like I'm in a much more powerful position. So the trick now for me is to stay in that powerful position. I created this momentum. I got on the track that I want to be on. It feels so right for me. It feels like this is the space I have been attempting to get to for the last seven years since I have developed a connection with myself and put in time of self-love. This is like the track I want to be on and I'm I'm on it. And now it's about daily practice to stay on it. And I feel so dedicated to that. And that's why making a video like this can be really helpful for people like all of us, you know, to be able to share it. Maybe it's not a video, but just to share with people because it helps bring more awareness. You kind of help validate me in my experience. And through that, it becomes stronger because I'm sharing my world with you and you're seeing my world and that world becomes more, becomes more seen, becomes stronger. So I've been doing yoga every morning and meditating every day, mostly in the morning, and just taking a lot of time to say thanks and to focus on gratitude and to focus on love and what love really means and not be attached to the idea that someone has to show up for me in a certain way. But to know that like, I'm loved no matter how people show up with me. I'm so loved, I'm so cared for, and I'm perfect. And I'm, I'm just becoming more of myself every day. And that tomorrow is gonna be even better than today because I'll be more of myself, more of me, more connection, more growth, I'll be expanding. So my track is expansion. And it makes sense that that takes like 15 minutes to explain. Um, I could probably explain it for a lot longer, but I hope that that kind of gives you a little bit of a life update in that particular realm. And just to be clear, you know, nothing, nothing's falling apart for me um, in terms of my relationship with Brittany or anything like that. We are really 
rocking the parenting life and rocking our relationship and rocking uh, this unified family that we've been creating with Bridget. And it's just going to keep going. I don't know the outcome and it doesn't matter. Uh, again, you know, it's just like I'm putting in the time to love and love myself and to love all things around me. And I will get that back in return. Absolutely. And so will you. I believe that 100%. And I feel like maybe it's a, it's a type of enlightenment that I have received. And I've been setting myself up to receive that for a long time. And it's here. And now it's about staying in that space and building it, building it. <sighs> yeah, that's the big life update. I mean, the other thing I want to share is just like being a parent uh, to Ilya is just the best thing in the world. I mean, I, I couldn't have done this amount of expansion and growth without them. I'm absolutely in love with that little baby. And forever and ever and ever, that's just never going to change. I'm thrilled about them. Mm, so I'm here, right? <laughs> to get back to things, here in the present moment, I chose to uh, give Brittany and Bridget 48 hours of just them. They've never had that before, their whole relationship. They've been together for over a year now, well over a year, and they've never had that. I think maybe a 24-hour period here and there. But it's been, you know, it's a different kind of relationship to navigate. And if they were just like, just the two of them, of course, they would have had a lot of that. And so it can feel kind of weird, like, why haven't we had that? But it makes sense because there's been me and there's been Ilya. And yeah, just as this has all been unfolding, I've... I felt like, man, I really want to support them. I want them to feel my support, to feel really loved by me and really cared for and, and like their relationship is seen. And I can do that now from this place of like absolute love, absolute support without these other pieces in there of fear. Because I know that it doesn't matter whatever I return to, if their bond is stronger, if there's more love flowing between them, in, when I return to them, that's okay. It doesn't mean that I'm not loved and I'm not perfect. It doesn't mean that I won't have love. So that's why I'm here and I rented this place and, and it is an act of self-love, you know, to get this place for myself. I've been here uh, just about 24 hours now and I've spent most of the time here. I've got a great setup here. I did my yoga practice this morning here. I'm probably going to go to Barton Springs pretty soon, which is just down the hill. And I'm um, just soaking it in, really connecting with myself. And I'm loving it. One gigantic thing that has happened, uh, I guess I, I made it happen, was I want to share this with you. This is my novel that I wrote. This is like one of those things that we all have a list of, you know, the top three or five or 10 things we want to do this lifetime. And writing a book has been on the top of my list since I was like 14 and I discovered that I love to write. And so I'm sharing this with you because I want you to read it. I want to get it out there into the world. And I think it's a beautiful book and I put a lot of my heart into it. Um, I wrote it over the course of two years and it's all about this unfolding process for me directly after the separation I had with my with my ex-wife and her subsequently becoming pregnant with someone else's child just like a couple months after we separated and me coming out of that out of that 12-year relationship I was with her for from the age of 16 to 28 coming out of that and having no idea how to date anyone but desperately wanting to date and desperately wanting love and touch and just like no idea how to create that for myself and uh it was messy and it was hard and it was painful and it was also beautiful and i really tried to encapsulate that in this book and um it's written as a very long letter to nicole my ex-wife and it's in first person third person there's also poetry in here and it's a story that all kind of interweaves and it's it's true. And also I wrote it as a fiction book because I just feel like it reads 
better as fiction if you go into it as like fiction but you can also go into it knowing like this all happened and this is a very pivotal part of my life i mean this was this was like the beginning of me finding myself here today in this state that i can share about so yeah, The Smell of Breath. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. It's available on Kindle. It's also, I have an audio version available. You can also get a signed copy. All of that's at connorlove.com. Just gotta spell my first name right, which people always misspell. Even when you can see my name, it says Connor, C-O-N-O-R. People will just misspell it right there. It's right there. Um, it's okay. But it's C-O-N-O-R. L O V E dot com. That's the only thing on that site is my book right now. So if you get there, you can see four different options for the book. I would love for you to pick up a copy and to read it and to message me and let me know what you think. Um, yes, it's a huge accomplishment and I'm really, really proud of it. And I do want to get it out there. So that's been a big thing. Otherwise, life is good. Just like Every day, you know, counting my blessings, literally counting my blessings and saying thanks and becoming more spiritually involved. And that has also been, that has also led me to be able to release a lot of these um, attachments that don't serve me. You know, I don't want to get to a place where I'm totally detached, where I'm totally free of attachments and I'm just like meditating all day in a cave by myself. You could do that, I think, and probably it would probably feel good. Um, but that's not the kind of life I want to live. But I do want to be practicing spiritual growth and lessening attachments that don't serve me so that I can focus on the ones that do serve me in the way that I'm looking to be served. And that has a lot to do with relationship and feeling love here and sharing it with someone right here. And then feeling that love back and accepting it, accepting the gift of love and giving the gift of love. That's really, I think, what I'm here to do. And um, me making this video, I have no idea if I'm going to keep making videos on this channel. You know, I come up with different ideas all the time. That's the way that I work. I, I have a thousand ideas and one of them will stick. And that's my creative process. So me putting out this video now, we'll see what happens. I might keep making videos here. I, I have been quite active on Instagram. I really have been enjoying doing stories over there. And I, I also post a lot of artwork there. I actually have a lot of artwork for sale right now. It's all on sale because I'm creating, um, I kind of want to like let go of, I have maybe over a hundred pieces. I'm, I'm wanting to sell for a lot cheaper than what I was asking. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago because I want to make space to do some newer stuff and uh, that that feels like a good thing to release so if you want to check any of that stuff out you can go check me out on Instagram I do my stories over there I post over there and then I also have an offshoot Instagram account where you can see all the artwork that I have for sale right now as soon as something gets bought on that page I erase it so it's just stuff that's available right now it's really simple you just get on there, you look at what you want, you use the PayPal link, you pay me, I ship your stuff out. Super, super simple. If you do do it that way, please send me a message and just let me know. I will get an alert from PayPal, but sometimes something comes up, you forget your address or whatever. So just send me a message if you do decide to do that. I'll put all these links in the description box for the book, for my Instagram, for the YouTube channels that I have with Brittany. I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm doing awesome. I'm doing really, really awesome. <laughs> and I hope you're doing awesome. And I just love you and I, I love YouTube. I love having the internet available to us. You know, I don't wanna spend my whole life on the computer, but I am very grateful for this type of connection. It's taught me so much. I've grown so much because of it. And that is in part because of you, because of you caring and you watching. and. You know, if you want to leave some feedback in the comments, please do so. I always appreciate compassionate feedback and uh, feedback with love because that's the intention that I'm setting forth to give to you is you go away from this video feeling more love. That, that would be so fantastic. So, mwah.
I'll see you soon. Bye.